Happy Friday. Let's get into it. Um, put some respect on Microsoft Securities Unit. They made $10 billion this year. I was just uh, surprised. I guess I didn't really think Microsoft Security Vision was that uh, high level or that profitable. But when I seen them assisting in the uh, solar winds uh, debacle and hack across the United States as a partner, really with um, uh, Fire Eye and really with the United States, um, I, I guess I wasn't surprised, but I still was a little surprised about them making $10 billion. So let's look at a couple of the articles uh, on that subject. Microsoft, eight trillion daily signals for their uh, cybersecurity services. Microsoft security service grew by 10 billion in 2020 as more companies began utilizing their cloud-based security service. Microsoft released the second quarter of the fiscal year 2021 earnings this week and beat consensus estimate by 7.36%, while most of the growth is attributed to Azure and Xbox. Microsoft's new blog post shows that the security services are becoming a larger part of their revenue stream. According to uh, Jack uh, CV uh, Security Compliance and Identity, Microsoft security offerings have generated 10 billion in revenue over the past 12 months and realized a 40% uh, growth, year over year growth. That's 40%. That's a huge jump on that volume of money and revenue. Yesterday shared an important, important milestones for our security business, 10 billion in revenue in the past 40% uh, of growth. A number inclusive of our security, compliance, identity, and management business, a testament to the trust of our customers have placed on us. Uh, he stated in a new blog post, our second article, we're actually going to uh, dig a little deeper into that blog post. But here, uh, with this image, they have 400,000 customers that use their uh, Microsoft security. Uh, protected devices, they have 2.5 billion daily cloud detection uh, blocked almost 6 billion threats on endpoints in 2020 and the security identities every day more than 30 billion authentications are processed across Azure 425 million users 30 billion is three times the number of donuts consumed in the United States I don't know why they put donuts in there even though I do like donuts but uh, once again Azure AD has 425 million users uh, more than 30 billion email threats were blocked by Defender. Uh, each month, compliance solutions process more than 5 billion documents for classifications. So, as a business, you need to classify your documents. I used to work for the Department of Defense. So, we had high, medium, and low security, top security, um, confidential. So, those are different ways to uh, classify your documents. Detect threats. Azure Sentinel analyzed over four petabytes of data each month from Azure, Amazon Web Service on Prime, and much more. With the massive footprint in the enterprise and the consumer market, Microsoft st states that they can ingest 8 trillion security signals every 24 hours using machine algorithms, artificial intelligence, these signals are shifted to find new malware campaigns and active threats to consumers. The security signals include 2.5 billion cloud detection, 30 billion authentications a day, 30 billion e email threats in 2020, 4 petabytes data analyzed by Azure Sentinel a month. Microsoft used information as part of their enterprise product, such as Microsoft Defender and Azure Sentinel. Microsoft also continues to roll out new security features to its users, including yesterday's general availability, application guard for Office, increased security features for the redesign of Microsoft Edge browser. So Microsoft is continuing to add security uh, functions, features, and new business units. 
Um, I think that's why a lot of people are using them because uh, since they're a huge cloud provider, they're actually eating their own dog food. They're actually securing Azure. So as they become better at um, securing Azure, of course, they're going to become better at securing their customers. So let's look at the guy that uh, was in charge of compliance. Once again, I'll put all the articles in the uh, description box. So that's him, Vata Jocko. I'm probably messing his name up. He's a CVP of Security Compliance and Identity. He said he joined a little more than six months ago. Uh, we have witnessed more sophisticated attacks like the recent SolarWinds incident, as well as increasing attack surface. Our devices and online experience have become more central to the way we learn, the way we work, learn, and live. In solving these complex challenges alongside our customers, partners and Microsoft takes cybersecurity out of the place of fear and makes it almost innovative and empowerment. Every single day, he's inspired by his team, by their great wisdom, resilience, expertise, and their commitment to living their mission. Uh, so we're just going to kind of skip around there. Once again, I have the article in the description. So once again, that shows you the images of all the trillions of cybersecurity events they're handling in the 24-hour day. So uh, what are they protecting from their customers? We can secure our customers best when we invest in the areas of all clouds, all platforms. We, we believe that anything less than comprehensive security is no security at all. That's why our security, compliance, and identity and management solution work seamlessly across platforms. We strive to extend all clouds, all apps, whether or not their Microsoft is being used throughout the component environment. So they're actually talking about securing um, Amazon Web Service, Google's Cloud, using Microsoft Defender, Endpoints, Android, Mac OS, and Linux. So they're trying to um, take a holistic, holistic approach and, and secure the uh, everything in the cloud. Sim simplicity in the face of complexity. What really stuck, our customers want to be enabled of innovation in their organization. They know that effective security is critical to their work. We make it much easier for them. We're here from a global user community that wants best in breed combined with the best in integration. They have a vibrant ecosystem. The Microsoft Intelligence Security Association is a community of more than 175 partner companies who created over 250 integration with Microsoft products and services and help organization close the gap between fragmented security solutions and minimize risk. In addition, uh, Microsoft delivered an industry record 3.7 million in bug bounty awards to 327 researchers from more than 55 countries. So there's a lot of uh, bug bounty hunters, especially in this sector of YouTube. That's amazing. They, they paid out $14 million in bug bounty to 300 guys. So if you find a big bug at Microsoft, you can collect on it. Some new uh, multi-cloud, multi-platform uh, solutions and looking ahead. So we're just going to read a little of this. Azure Center multi-cloud support is now available and includes a unified view of security alerts from Amazon Web Service and Google Cloud, as well as an enhancement to Azure Defender to protect multi-cloud virtual machines. Today we're announcing the availability of Azure Defender for IoT, which adds critical layer of agentless security for operational technology, networks and industry and critical infrastructure, as well as application uh, guard for office with open documents in the containers to protect users from malicious content. These new solutions will help protect users and business across the platform. Once again, I'm going to put this in the box. Ultimately, security is about people, protecting people, bringing people together, sharing knowledge, tools, and collectively strengthening our defenses. Microsoft looks forward to sharing more information in the upcoming events about new areas focus and investments. So once again, I was pleasantly surprised that Microsoft made $10 billion from their security department. Uh, once again, um, cybersecurity for the people, Professor Black Ops, please subscribe. Once again, just surprised they made $10 billion. I just never think of Microsoft and security at that high level.